guys welcome back to my channel again and so today i decided to do a little makeup for you guys and i decided to ditch my wig so i know if you don't like and you if you just don't like me without my wig please exit from the video i do not need to hear your comment so right now i'm basically moisturizing my face with lancome water infused cream i think that's how you say it and it just feels so good on my skin like it really penetrates in there so yeah but anyway so today's video is actually brought to you by deck of scarlet and this is actually a subscription based website that has makeup palette like every two months they come out with makeup palette and actually all the makeup palettes that they have is in collaboration with one of your favorite youtubers here and the I remember actually seeing one from Sunja Deluxe and I actually really liked that one so I was like yes I want to try this one and this particular palette is actually in collaboration with Beauty Babes and so in this palette you basically get a blush, a highlighter, three eyeshadow and two lipsticks and you also get a chubby stick which is also a lipstick so this is the swatch of some of the eyeshadows that I have here. So basically, the, the first one was Peachy Can, and the second one was Making Muff, and then the third one was Sophia, and then the highlighter is Glad and Body, and then you have the two lipstick inside, which is the Brownie and Plum, and those are so freaking pretty. So the first eyeshadow I actually put on was actually not an eyeshadow, it was the blush. So I just went ahead and took the blush and just like use that as my transition and then I took Sophia and I just kind of applied that on the outer V of my eyes and also in the inner corner of my eyes and I just blended that with the first um, shade that we applied which was the blush and you just add as much as you need um, but yeah so that's what I'm doing and I'm making sure I'm really blending that well and I really like how soft these eyeshadows are and very easy to apply so I went in with Ken Peach and I just applied that on the center of my lid. I don't know. I like doing this. This is like one of the easiest way to do your eyeshadow makeup. Like if you're rushing, this is it. So I went ahead and took, I, I mean, I went ahead and took this Lancome eyeliner pencil. I forget what the name is, but I'm going to leave it in the description bar down below. And I just applied that on my waterline. And then I went back and took Sophia and I just kind of smoked that out. And I also added some more on the outer V. But yeah, so now I just went ahead and applied my lashes. And I actually went ahead and did my eyeliner. Um, but I didn't... Oh, actually, I do show you guys how I, I did it. But it took so long to do this eyeliner. I was like, oh my god, I can't put that whole thing on the video. And then I just went and applied my lashes by Huda Beauty. And this is the Farout lashes. And then I took my mascara. I freaking love mascara. And especially this one for from Lancome I know I'm using a lot of stuff from Lancome and I just um make sure it was blended with my falsies and I also apply some on my bottom lash line because that's what you do okay you just have to do it anyway so I just went ahead and took my primer and again this is from Lancome and I just apply it all over my face I actually really like that primer it's so good I let my cousin use it and she was like can I keep it and I was like no, I let her use it for a little bit and I take it back. But anyway, so right now I'm just applying color corrector from LA Girl, and this is the orange one, and I just blend that out. You guys know I always use color corrector. That really does help me with my scarring, especially when I apply a foundation that is lightweight. So I'm using the NYX um, Total Control Foundation. This is the new foundation that they just came out with. And this was actually my second time using it. I used it the first time. I was like, you know what? This is actually really good. So I'm just applying that. And I had it in two shades. I'm going to leave the two shades that I have in the description bar down below. And I just started blending that out with my Beauty Blender. I always like using the Beauty Blender. I feel like it's best to use Beauty Blender with this. And so I just went ahead and took my concealer. I mean, I went ahead and take my concealer. And I said, took whatever. And I just apply it on, on the, underneath my eyes, my forehead, my chin. And then I started blending that. And I was actually blending it with the same beauty blender that I used to apply my foundation. Because I feel like that really helps to blend everything together. And I just take the bottom part and make sure everything is blended. So now I just took my Black Opal Loose Powder. 
and two and i just use that to set my face i've been actually really liking this powder lately um because i feel like the color is just perfect it's not too yellow and it's not too grayish and yeah so i just apply that and now i'm just dusting it off and i actually let it sit for like i don't know two minutes <laughs> and now i'm just kind of dusting it off and i'm also taking another um black opal powder which is in the darkest shade and i just use that to set like my whole face so that everything is just well blended and i feel like this foundation that i use is actually lightweight so i didn't get that heavy cakey coverage which i actually really like so i went back into that palette and i took body which is the blush and i applied it on and it just kind of gave me a really nice sun kissed cheeks and then i went ahead and took this body glow and I just applied it on the highest part of my cheekbone. And then I went back in the palette and took the highlighter and just applied that on the highest part of my cheekbone to make it really pop. And it's just so freaking pretty. I love how subtle it is. Like, I don't think it's as loud as my other highlighters. You know, sometimes you can just go with the subtle. So now I'm just taking my Kat Von D lip liner and I'm just applying that. Also, I'm going to leave the name in the description bar down below guys and then i went ahead and took the chubby um lipstick that was at that came with the palette and i just applied and i think this is i feel like this is a really nice nude shade for my skin tone and i just went ahead and just set my face with um gerard cosmetics setting spray and basically we are done so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and remember to always be your own kind of beautiful.